but still, they did. The British fleet was based in the Egyptian port of Alexandria, under the command of Admiral Andrew Cunningham. A message about to arrive at Station X was going to make him and Mavis heroes. Well, then a very, very large message came in, which was the battle orders, how many cruisers there were and how many submarines were to be there and where they were to be at such and such a time. Absolutely incredible that they should uh, really spell it all out. Mavis had decoded just the message that Cunningham needed to hit the Italians hard. It was 11 o'clock of night and it was pouring with rain when I rushed, ran, absolutely tore down to take it to the Italian intelligence to get it across to Cunningham. Within hours, the decoded message was on its way to Cunningham in Egypt. The Italian fleet were gathering off Cape Matapan on the Greek coast. Their plan was to attack a British convoy at midnight. Alexandria was a nest of spies. The problem for Cunningham was how to act on the message without giving his plans away. If he led the fleet out to sea, the Italians would know immediately. Cunningham embarked on an elaborate ruse to fool the spies. He wanted his enemies to believe that all was quiet. He did a real Drake on them, and well, more than Drake, because he played golf and pretended he was you know, just going to have a you know, weekend off. Admiral Cunningham was a crafty fellow, and uh, by subterfuge he uh, was able to lead the enemy to think he was socially engaged doing something else. And I've no doubt when he went to Sean Alexandra to, to play golf, that information was in Italy within about five minutes. But at night, Cunningham slipped back on board and led the British fleet out to sea, to the precise spot where the Italians were gathered. The ruse worked. Cunningham caught the Italians completely off guard. That night, the Italians lost nearly 3,000 men, the cream of their navy. It was the first major victory for Station X in the war, and the young codebreakers were delighted. The navy does it again. Here is the British Mediterranean fleet, preparing for what proved to be the greatest naval engagement so far fought in this war. The Battle of Matapan is one more proof that Britain is the unchallenged ruler of the Mediterranean waves. After the Battle of Matapan, the Navy were the heroes. Station X was, of course, never mentioned. But they had their own reward. Then Cunningham himself came. It was the first thing he wanted to do when he came was um, to see the actual message that, that, it, that had uh, been broken and he was very nice and we had a drink and uh, we were in this little cottage and the wa walls had just been whitewashed. Now this will show, show you how sort of silly and young and giggly we were but we thought it would be jolly nice if we could get talk to Admiral Cunningham and to get him to lean against the wet whitewash and go away with a white stern. So uh, that's what we did. So, I, I, you know, um, it's rather terrible, isn't it? That, uh, you know, on the one hand, everything so, seems to be so very uh, organized and um, these silly young things are, are wanting to snare the Admiral. But within months of Station X breaking into the Enigma, it all ended. They were locked out. And then disaster struck. The Germans issued a decree, no more double enciphering of the message setting. Just single enciphering. And we don't know why they did that. Um, there was no, they didn't believe Enigma was being broken or anything like that. But catastrophe. Suddenly, the Jeffrey sheets didn't work. And so suddenly, darkness fell. <laughs> 